Welcome to KDAB News, the monthly update for professionals working with Qt, C++ and 3D technologies. I'm Robert Brock, and before we jump into the usual headlines, we here at KDAB wanted to address the current pandemic. Like many companies, we shifted all our staff to home office. Working in software development, it hasn't been unusual for us to work from home or be geographically distributed. But for many manufacturing companies in the tech space, this is a new, challenging situation. For those of you who are unfamiliar with working from home, whether it be spare time or adjusting to separating your work and life whilst being in the same environment, we've got some tips and insights for you. So stay safe, stay at home and clean your keyboard. Meanwhile, in this month's episode, we have update on events such as Qt World Summit, tooltips for Qt developers, new Qt license for small business, announcements, and resources. As you know, due to the coronavirus, many events have been cancelled, postponed or replaced by virtual formats. For example, the Qt World Summit has been moved from May to October 2020, and some other events have organized virtual substitutes. We have created a page where we list cancellations and changes for relevant events for the Qt and C++ Cosmos. We will endeavor to update it regularly, but if we missed an event or update, please let us know. If, due to canceled business trips or working from home, you have some time to fill, why not use it for some education? Have you ever wanted to look a little deeper into developer tools for Qt? We've created a list of useful tools that help you to become more efficient in developing and debugging your software projects. For example, Gamma Ray is a highly recommended introspection tool for Qt projects that allows you to examine your code right in the live app. Clazy is a plugin that helps with compile time warnings, as it understands Qt semantics. Then we have Hotspot, a tool that helps visualize your app's CPU performance. For the full list of top 10 tools, check out the white paper link below. Earlier this year, the Qt company announced a special license for small companies and startups. The small business license is now available and costs 499 US dollars per year. It is reserved for companies with an annual turnover or financing below 250,000 US dollars. According to the announcement, the offer includes a full Qt license for embedded desktop and mobile software development. So, on the 20th of this month, a new version of the aforementioned Gamma Ray tool was released, version 2.11.1. This update focused on establishing full Qt 5.14 compatibility, as well as the usual bug fixes and performance improvements. However, new features such as the Qt 3D Geometry Inspector now having an OpenGL ES2 fallback implementation for cases where OpenGL may not be supported. Why not check out the short blog or full change log in the links below? As mentioned in the introduction, if you are new at working from home and struggle to acclimate to the new environment, one of KDAB's remote workers, Kersey, has shared her experience on how she started out working from home and gives some useful advice in a blog post. As always, follow the links below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Feel free to share any feedback below the video. Go wash your hands, and I'll see you next time.